Last time we taught Chariot how to follow the edge of the road at the same time it monitored the distance it had traveled and turned when it had reached where Yellow Cat was hiding and successfully rescued the cat. This time I'd like to introduce you to Pippa the dog and her friend Brownie the Lego dog. Brownie currently lives at an animal shelter that is located off the main road near the racetrack. Eaglet's mission is to travel to visit Brownie. To do this, he'll need to follow the road and then the driveway at the shelter through several turns. We'll create the program that Chariot needs to travel to the animal shelter while we learn about MyBlocks. A MyBlock is a new word block that we can create from other word blocks. MyBlocks provide several benefits, including you can keep a sequence of blocks that you want to use more than once in one place and use them as often as you like. If you discover a better way to program something, you can change your previous solution in one place and it will affect all the places you use the MyBlock. These benefits may seem pretty abstract. Let's take a look at an example. To navigate along the road, we need to create a sequence of blocks that turn and then go straight. Let's create a MyBlock that performs the turns and then use it to program Chariot to travel to the animal shelter. Let's start by scrolling down to the MyBlocks menu. Next, we click on Make a MyBlock. Now we give a name to the new block. Let's call it Turn, because it will cause a robot to turn left or right. And then click on Save. Now we can plug the blocks in that accomplish the purpose of the MyBlock we just created. To cause the my block to execute a right turn, we add a move block and set the turn to sharp right. To cause it to turn about 90 degrees, we set the distance to 9 centimeters. Let's use the new my block in a simple program to cause Chariot to travel towards the animal shelter. First, we use a move block backwards 4 inches to back out of the driveway. Then we use the new my block to turn right. Then we use a move straight block for 17 inches to move to the next turn. Let's see what happens if we use this partial program after we save it. Okay. The robot got approximately to the next turn in the road. Let's add another turn block to turn the robot left. Then a move straight for 22 inches to reach the next turn near the animal shelter. Let's save it and try it out. Oops, the my block we created will always cause the robot to turn right. Let's see if we can make the my block smart enough to turn either left or right, depending on wh which one we need. First, we right click on the first block in the turn my block and click on edit. Next, we click on add an input and give it the name direction and then save. Now we need to do something with the new input, which is called a parameter. Let's use it in an if-then-else block to implement a left or a right turn. The if condition needs to check which direction is needed. Let's assume the direction input is either left or right. To do this, we'll use a green operator block that allows us to compare the direction to left or right. We'll put the direction parameter on the left side and the word left on the right side. If the condition is true, we want to turn left, so we add a block to write L on the top of the hub so we know what's going on, and then add a move block that makes a sharp left turn for 9 centimeters. In the else case, where the direction isn't left, we check to see if the direction is right. If it is, we want to write R and use a block that moves the robot in place to the right. In the else case, it was neither left or right, so we display a question mark on the top of the hub and force the program to stop 
using a stop all block. Now let's update the two places where we use the turn my block. We add the word right to the first one and left to the second. Let's save it and see if it makes the correct turns. Now we're talking. Let's add more turns to get the rest of the way to the animal shelter. First, another left turn, then straight for two inches, then a right turn, straight for four inches, now right again, then straight for one inch. Now we save again and give it a try. Creating a my block to do the turning allowed us to add more turns by just adding more copies of the my block. Chariot made the turns we wanted, but they weren't as precise as we would want them to be in a competition where every point counts. Next time we'll use the gyro to improve the turn my block and help Eaglet deliver food to the animal shelter.